It's really good if you can wear clothing that the hair doesn't stick to, like these waterproof trousers. To start with, we put on his saddle and we'll chalk round it, because even though we are going to remove all his saddle patch, we're going to show you how to do a hunter clip when you would leave the saddle on. So now we've chalked his back, you can clearly see where the saddle would go. Um, this horse is very good to clip, but even so, we'd still always start clipping on the shoulder. And you can see how easy it is. Now we've put a chalk mark on to very easily get the shape of the saddle to clip around. Also, we've now done the top of his front leg and you can see we've followed the shape of the muscle around. And you can see we've just done a difficult bit just round his elbow, but it's quite easy to do if you just keep holding the skin tight. And you can see that his coat is just gleaming because his skin is really healthy. And it's not scurfy at all. We're now going to show you how to clip a V at the top of the tail. But because we're going to Olympia, we don't want to be at the top of the tail. We're going to cut it straight off so that he look, his coat will look more natural. Good opportunity while you've got the clippers out just to neaten off the end of the tail. I'm pretty soon we're ready to start on the other side. Um, it's really good here because we've got two power points so we can move the wire round to this side so again uh, he won't get it anywhere near his feet. Uh, it's always good when clipping to use long strokes and when you do the next one to slightly overlap it so you don't leave any marks on the coat. Always clip against the hair and then just clip it over the other way to get a closer clip. It's always useful when you're going to clip fiddly bits uh, round the hind legs and under the tummy to get your assistant to hold up a front leg. Always hold up the leg on the same side that you're going to clip.
It's also very useful to get your assistant to hold forward a front leg when you want to clip under the elbow. If you're going to kick the head out full, then just pop the head collar around the neck and just get your assistant to steady his head. Then when your horse is fully clipped, just give him a wipe over with a hot cloth. And that just helps get off any loose hairs before you put his rug on. And you'll see your horse, if he's really healthy, his skin will just shine. 